And that's just a promise from God that I received. And I began to just open my mouth and pray. And I was saying, you know, Lord, you dreamed of this for my life before I ever conceived this to be possible for me. This is what you wanted before you even created me. This is your desire that you've now imparted to me for my life. Right. And you will bring it to pass in your perfect timing and your perfect way. So then the Lord had a shift in my mind to uh, the reality of when a woman uh, becomes pregnant, when a couple, hopefully a married couple, uh, start preparing for that child, right? They, the woman especially, immediately goes into nesting mode of, oh, I got to get the diapers. I got to get, you know, the nursery set up. I need all these little things uh, to make sure baby has everything that baby needs and baby's healthy. They go to their doctor's appointments or their midwife appointments and they'll take the prenatals and whatever other nutrient dense vitamins that they need and they'll eat more. So you go into a preparation mode. So for whatever it is that God has given you to believe for whatever word that he has impregnated you with, so to speak, whatever promises he's impregnated you with, you need to ask the Lord, what is it, God, that I can be doing in this season of preparation for that thing that you've promised me? What is it that I need to get? How do I need to position myself? What do I need to do in this season before this blessing arrives? Right? Go into nesting mode, if you will, for whatever blessing the Lord has promised you and allowed you to conceive in this time. Now, the next thing that the Lord brought to my mind was that women will gain weight during pregnancy if they're healthy. You know, the healthy thing is for them to gain weight. Now you're carrying a child, but in this context, in reference, a blessing that you've conceived of God that hasn't yet arrived. Pregnant women need to eat more. I've read, you know, I was astonished by the amount of calories, the amount of extra calories that they need in a day to compensate for that life that they're carrying on the inside of them. How does that translate into those of us who may not be physically uh, pregnant with a child, but are pregnant with the word that God has given us? How does that translate? Well, our food, our daily bread is the word of God. After you receive a word from God, whether it be through visions or dreams, through actually reading the word and that rhema comes alive to you, you need to get it even more so jarred into your system. We need to consume the word of God even more. When God promises you something, that doesn't mean that you pray less. It doesn't mean that you read the word less. It means that you do those things all the more to compensate for the attacks of the enemy that try to come against that thing that God has placed on the inside of you. You get into the word more, speak it into the atmosphere more, not less. And that, that was my own personal conviction. You need more of God to compensate for that thing. And that's just the start. So start reinforcing the scripture. Start reading your word more concerning that blessing or those blessings, whatever they may be. Now position yourself in the external. What do you need around you to prepare for this blessing? That when the blessing arrives, the blessing will fit right in. That you will be sure that you have prepared, that you've gotten everything that you need to take care of this blessing. One one of my prayers is, God, give me the capacity to take care of everything that you want to bless me with. Everything that I am impregnated with, once it is released, Father, give me the capacity to take care of it and to steward it well. Give me everything that's needed to be able to support these blessings, to take care of them. Make me mindful, O God, of the things I yet don't know about these blessings. I invite you, Holy Spirit into this place in my life. I welcome your help, Father. I welcome your help. I receive of you in this time, all that you intend to give me. 
I'm listening to what you are telling me. I am open to you to experience you in a new way in this season.